guys, I'm Siri from Tribal Suit Project and welcome to another episode of Creative Corner. Today is going to be a tie-dye tutorial and I am going to show you guys how to do a sun mandala. Um, this is kind of an advanced pattern um, and it does take a little while to get more depth at it. And um, it's actually easier to do on a big piece of fabric, um, but you can of course you could do it on a shirt or a handkerchief or, ship or whatever you want. Um, but I am going to be using a tapestry today to show you guys. Um, I've already had my tapestry soaking in my soda ash solution, and I'm ready to go ahead and start my folds. Um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to fold your fabric in half. Trying to be conscious of it being exactly in half. And once you've got it in half, you're going to go ahead and fold it in half again so that you have quarters. Then I'm just going to smooth my fabric out and make sure that things are as even as possible. Now, this is one of those that you need to know where the center of your piece of fabric is. And the center of my fabric is right here. So, what you are going to do is having the center of the fabric on the left hand side away from you, you're going to put your finger on that center and you are going to fold this top piece down to be a triangle. Just like that. And then, being very careful, you're going to go ahead and pick your piece of fabric up and when you pick your piece of fabric up this side is going to fold down and then you're going to place it with this side up Alright, so now that I have it folded, I'm going to go ahead and use a washable marker to draw my pattern where I'll put my bands. Now this is the center, and if you, you have to imagine a sun. You have a center of the sun, and then you have the rays that come out like this. Or you could kind of uh, a picture a flower as well if you rather. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to do my center points. Just like that. And now I'm going to draw two teardrops, two half teardrops. And these will kind of be either your rays of sun or your petals of your flower. Alright, so now that I've got my pattern all drawn on my piece of fabric, I'm ready to go ahead and band it up. 
Um, I am going to use zip ties to do this. So you, of course, can use whatever your preference is, rubber bands, sinew, whatever you want to do. And I am going to begin by making pleat folds along all these lines. So I'm going to start at the center, and then I'm going to do the same thing going down the tie dye. So I'm ready to go ahead and dye my sun mandala. Um, I am using a fiber reactive dye. Um, I would suggest always using a fiber reactive dye. I get mine from Dharma Trading. Um, if you use a dye that does not react to fiber, then the colors are going to fade extremely quick. And if they don't, go ahead and fade almost all the way out in your first initial wash anyways. So I do suggest using a fiber reactive dye. I also suggest doing your dyeing on a grate with a Rubbermaid bin underneath. That way you don't have an issue with the dye pulling up under your fabric. Um, and I also suggest having a towel handy so that you can wipe your gray off when you go ahead and flip it over and dye the other color. So as I apply my dye, I'm going to do it as slowly as possible and kind of let the material soak up the dye. That way I don't have um, more of a mess and a bleed over on my line.
right, so now that I've got my entire tapestry dyed, I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze it in a couple of places, making sure to wipe my fingers off in between squeezes, um, just because it is a rather thick piece of fabric, and I want the entire piece to be dyed. Alright, so now I'm ready to go ahead and put my fabric in a plastic bag. Um, I'm going to use a garbage bag because this is a rather large piece of fabric. Um, you could use a Ziploc bag, you could use a grocery bag, you could use saran wrap. The purpose of this is to keep the material moist as you're letting it sit so that the dye can react to the fiber. Um, I wouldn't let, suggest letting it sit any less than 8 hours. And additionally to that, I wouldn't suggest letting it sit more than two weeks at a time. Um, I usually let my tie-dye sit for about two or three days before I wash them out. Hey guys, it's been about three days since we tie-dyed our Sun Million Dollar Tapestry, and we are now ready to wash our dye out. And I'm going to start just by washing it out with the zip ties still on, and then I'll take the zip ties off. So once your water has is running just about clear, you're not obviously it's not going to be completely clear. But once it's just about clear, you're ready to take your tie dye and pop it in the washer machine. Um, I just wash. I usually do about seven to fourteen tie dyes at one time in the washer. I wouldn't suggest doing any more of that. And I just um, wash them on a hot cycle and then dry them as normal, and then they're done. But let's go ahead and see what this baby looks like. I'm so excited to see it. Oh, Ooh. look at that. It's so freaking cool. It is. Good job. Oh, my God. I love that. Oh, I really like that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed something from watching this. I hope that you learned something as well. I would love to see your own tie-dye creations. So if you want to post a picture of them down in the comments below, that would be awesome. Additionally, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those below as well. If you like the video, please do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out our website and see some of the other cool stuff we got going on out there. And until next time, guys, create lots of cool stuff. Bye!